thank you professor eddy it's uh, d day for me <laughs> actually uh, because uh, i can see professor babu is also here and you are also there and you both are my mentor and it's always nice to hear from you and the way you have introduced me and uh, <clears throat> such a nice words definitely uh, uh, i'll i'll try my level best to justify what you expected from me so uh, i am just going to give an overview of uh, the issues uh, you know that uh, sustainable development goals is uh, there uh, as per united nation uh, 17 sustainable development goals one of the goals are uh, managing the natural resources or uh, maybe restoring or protecting your natural resources and we all understand that as a geotechnical engineer geo environmental engineer or I mean, I mean, I mean, can, can you can you put it on the powerpoint sliding uh, yeah, presentation mode okay yeah just wanted to remind okay good thanks so we all have an important role like geologist or earth scientist or maybe geo geo environmental engineer or geotechnical engineer we all have a role to play now so i thank professor krishna reddy to invite me on this topic and i uh, welcome all the participants who have joined this platform and shown interest to listen to me i hope i will fulfill the expectations of yours so let me start my presentation hope my voice is clear everything is okay yeah voice is clear everything is clear but uh, on yeah. the slides do you see that slide show or resume slide show is like a okay message, message I that uh, yeah maybe okay is it okay now yeah it's good okay so we all understand what geotechnical engineering means we all deal with foundation design geomaterials and uh, ground improvement and then uh, uh, all allied domains like hydrology then soil exploration everything deal uh, as a geotechnical engineer, engineer we definitely deal all these aspects and coming to geo environmental engineering you know that a geo environmental engineer is combination of geotechnical engineer ground water engineer and environmental engineer so uh, it's an important uh, uh, topic and then uh, recently it has uh, taken a toll with all the efforts that uh, professor it is now taking is take, doing lot of uh, effort to promote this field and then to uh, develop interest in the young researchers in the field of geo environmental engineering it's a it's a very major issue uh, in uh, in current scenario that you will understand uh, in next slides next few slides so we all understand what is natural resource and i'm not going to give much uh, i'm not going to uh, go deep into this we all know that energy land minerals food and water everything that is available to us Uh, free of cost by the nature is called natural resources and it is our duty and responsibility to uh, maintain uh, uh, the natural resources uh, we should not allow to contaminate them we should not also uh, use it so extensively that nothing is left for the future generation that is called a sustainable way of dealing with these natural resources <laughs> so when we talk about land resources we use these land resources for agriculture purpose for residential purpose transportation recreational activities and for commercial and industrial uses but you know that when uh, we use these resources in excess then there is a issue of resource depletion and i have just listed down uh, the causes of resource depletion the effects and their solutions uh, that can, that is suggested this is i have this i have taken from the source uh, uh, from the internet but i i actually uh, like this particular slide that it clearly demarcates that uh, what are the causes of resource depletion like if we do farming over farming or over population then waste erosion mining pollution over consumption deforestation industrialization and technological development all that is definitely need of society we but then uh, with that we also uh, create issues to the nature like you know that uh, the air pollution health effects global warming loss of forests then extinction of animals and plants depletion of elements and minerals water short uh, shortages oil shortages gas shortages and economic effects are there 
and there are some suggested solutions for that and i'm sure that uh, i'm not an expert in all the fields but i'm sure that professor reddy will be able to get experts uh, uh, in these fields and they will be able to share their thoughts on how to reduce the consumption what are the strategies to be followed how we can save the electricity by more power efficient devices then avoid plastic use fishing rules then switch from car to the other transportation facilities like electric cars cars then stop deforestation recycle and reuse this is very important then sustainable agriculture organic gardening like that so many uh, solutions are suggested reduce waste then use food efficiently renewable energies government regulations educations and then then convincing to others that is very important because you know that you may have understood but then the person who is dealing with these things may not be convinced because they want to earn money so there you have to really convince them that use these resources judiciously in the same way there are environmental degradation because of that uh, the causes are again overpopulation deforestation landfills consumption behavior waste production then lack of education illegal dumping dumping agriculture pollution littering mining plastic pollution resource depletion so these are all causes and effects of those uh, are acid rains biodiversity loss so these are all geo environmental issues floods landslides soil erosion endangerment of the species then natural disasters global warming so we all know we, we have understood these issues i mean and then wars spread of disease lot of things are there so again solutions are suggested stop deforestation then high fines for illegal dumping stricter government regulations natural reserves like that so many solutions are suggested and uh, again refrain from plastic so i think i think uh, you all have understood that uh, how this uh, <coughs> resource depletion and environmental degradation uh, degradation uh, the, what are the causes what are those effects and uh, what solutions can be suggested and when you are doing research definitely it's not an exhaustive list you can add more uh, solutions to this now let us see uh, one by one some of the issues like you can see this particular slide slide explains massive uk landslide connected to the deforestation of this road so again you know that because of this lot of uh, uh, natural resources are wasted and uh, definitely you would like to avoid these things so what are the things that can be done uh, as a geotechnical engineer or a geo environmental engineer when you are doing some injection or grouting or maybe some changing the changing the shape or maybe putting soil nails or providing retaining structure so these are uh, these are all combination of uh, geotechnical as well as geo environmental environmental solutions because when you do inject something in the in the ground then you have to see the geo environmental aspects also uh, by this way you actually improve the stability and you make sure that your natural resources are not wasted so uh, these things are common to you you all as a civil engineer you all know uh, what is the stitching method epoxy injection is there cement grouting or drilling or plugging is there uh, in the same way soil nailing technique is one of the most widely used technique for uh, protecting the natural slope and uh, uh, i don't want to get into the details of this soil nailing as you put reinforcement in the concrete in the same way you put reinforcement in the soil because both are weak in tension similarly you provide retaining walls uh, to protect the natural resources you can see how well it is uh, provided and protected your natural resources i'm not going to get into the deep of the uh, design of retaining structures but then you can see different types of retaining structures are provided to protect your natural resources like you can see here this natural drain which is which is protected by this uh, retaining wall otherwise it will just slide and it will block the drainage and then uh, it can cause the trouble and coming to this uh, landfills uh, you have understood a lot you have learned a lot i don't think a person better than professor reddy can speak on this topic you know a, a a normal dump site to an engineered landfill you you have seen all the transitions and then all the issues related to that has been discussed in the past and i'm sure future also in future also lot of experts will talk about this but then this is this is one of the major issues with the developing nation also because they are producing lot of dumps and then uh, waste and then they are actually dumping in open space which is causing lot of health issues environmental <coughs> issues 
and it has to be tilted. <coughs> So uh, you know that we, as a civil engineer, uh, uh, we also uh, doing a lot of work uh, in the field of waste utilization in civil engineering construction, like uh, we are using, uh, just to reduce the burden on the environment. So like people are using rice husk and municipal waste or coal mine, or uh, this is just a list which, is, which shows that how, how, how well we are utilizing these uh, waste or in the construction industries or, uh, or we are handling this way so that we can reduce the burden on the environment. I'm sure that you must be the most luckiest person on this earth if you have not faced one of the natural disasters. Uh, I already listed down and uh, in your lifetime, you definitely face uh, either earthquake or uh, I don't want you face tsunami or maybe typhoon or any kind of thing, but then definitely people are there who are facing these issues. And how geotechnical engineers, geoenvironmental engineers, or geologists can help uh, protect uh, these, uh, uh, protect uh, uh, the society or the people from these natural disasters. Or so, like I, I say that uh, you can create underground space or shelter for your for your family to deal with uh, these natural disasters. And uh, I'm sure that not only geotechnical engineers, but geologists and uh, geoenvironmental engineers play, play a major role in creating these kind of underground shelters because yet they have to take the uh, uh, atmospheric uh, or air uh, pollution and then underground pollution, how it, how it, it can be taken care of. Like that, those things are there, so those, those technical issues are there to be resolved. In the same way, uh, you protect uh, people from flood, levees, uh, like you create levees or water retaining structures to protect this land from these. You can see here, this, this vehicle is safely driving because of this levees which is created. So again, 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 the role of geotechnical, geoenvironmental engineer, because you know that when, when you obstruct or you uh, provide a, a barrier to a, a flowing fuel or this kind of barrier is created, then you know that, that there are issues, geo-environmental geo issues uh, uh, arises and you have to uh, really take care of that. Similarly, uh, you create a sea valves. Uh, you know that you have to protect your land from these high waves. So uh, a lot of uh, engineering is involved here and uh, Geotechnical, geoenvironmental, hydrologist, geologist, everybody comes into picture and they design these kind of uh, tidal defense. Or uh, you can see here, you have when when you are going to create this kind of structure, so you have to be really be very careful uh, about the low, uh, force that that will actually impact on this wall, and the, the and, and then accordingly you have to design your structure. And uh, you know that. Uh, it's not easy to do. You, you have to do a lot of uh, subsurface exploration, then the condition of the subsoil, and then accordingly, you have to design the things. Now, coming to landslide, uh, some of the, uh, you know that it's very common in some of the developing countries or where, uh, and, and this particular slide actually explains all the, all the uh, measures, engineering measures that can be taken to uh, protect this land from any kind of landsliding. Like you provide seed piling or you, you can provide geogrids or maybe drainage facility should be good. Uh, then terracing or benching like that or maybe biotech uh, biotechnical slope stabilization or you provide friction piles. So like that, retaining walls, dog boards, short creeping, lot of engineering is done to protect this uh, natural uh, resources because you know that uh, not only it, it, uh, when there is a landslide, not only it depletes the uh, natural resource, but also it damages the uh, downstream. Uh, that should be taken here. So, uh, coming to my uh, final remarks, uh, you, we, we, we have understood that uh, all the resources, whether it is land resource or water resource or human settlement uh, or maybe plant and lively, uh, livestock like agriculture, forest, everything. Soil, terrain, bio, everything. So uh, either either uh, uh, they are affected due to climate or maybe due to human uh, human activities. And if 
uh, we do things that are favorable to this, then definitely it, it leads to sustainability and uh, resilience of the system. Otherwise, it actually degrades uh, or it's, it's, it brings vulnerability to the society or to the human being or human settlement. Uh, so uh, to conclude uh, my presentation, uh, I, it's a great initiative by Professor Krishna Reddy, and I'm sure that students who are interested in this uh, geo-environmental engineering, you have a direct contact with Professor Reddy. You can get in touch with him directly, and uh, he's going to provide a lot of uh, insight into the issue, insight into the uh, field. And uh, you, you will really understand that how, how, how how vast this field is and, and how well it is actually uh, uh, suited for the society. So with this, I thank you, sir. Thank you very much for uh, patient sharing and uh, for your kind support and uh, giving me an opportunity to uh, present this on this platform. Yeah, thanks, Amit. I think, uh, um, you know, your presentation, uh, you know, should broaden up uh, 